This video is about simply and multiply connected regions. So if you watched the previous video of curves, now we'll understand regions which are under those curves. Let's take a simple closed curve like this. So remember, I'm not making arrows in here because in the next video, I will show you how to make arrows and the arrows are really important. In this video, I won't make them. In the next video, I will make the arrows on these curves, which I'm going to make in here and you will understand how to make arrows. So a simply connected region is a region under a closed curve. For example, this closed curve in which if we take any simply closed curve, which are for example, if we take a curve like this, let me make that with another curve like this. And we can shrink that curve to a point without leaving that region. For example, if this curve shrinks, 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 shrinks and goes to point one and it is not leaving our region, then that region is known as simply connected region. Now let's see another region which is bounded by two simple closed curves. For example, this one. This is our region. Okay. Now in here, if we make any closed curve, this will shrink. And if we shrink this, this will re leave our region and when it will shrink to this size like this. So this type of region is known as multiply connected regions. So you can understand this simply for example a region which do not have any holes in it do not have any holes is known as simply connected region and the region which have holes in it is known as multiply connected regions. For example I will give you another example for multiply connected regions for example this is a closed curve this is a region under it and there are some other closed curves. For example, these and this part right here is our region. So this is also a multiply connected region. So these were all for simply and multiply connected regions. In the next video, we will see the sign convention which we will use for integrating. For example, if you want to integrate this area, what we will do, we will use the Cauchy theorem and the Cauchy integral formula in future for integrating curves like this. Well, this is a little complex one this curve like this this curve like this so for that we will need sign convention for when the integration is my negative or positive so in the next video we will see that so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything